My name is Oli Chaim. I work as a teacher trainer in the EFL department at Bedbar College of Education. My research areas focus primarily on acquisition of additional languages, second, third, fourth, etc., among multilingual students, immigrants, and minority students. I've done some research that involves mixed methodology, qualitative and quantitative um, uh, data. And I'm very pleased to share with you the highlights of my research carried out in the last um, five or six years. Just to explain to you, in Israel is a country of immigrants. We have immigrants from all over the world speaking at least 41 different languages. For immigrants from non-English speaking countries, Hebrew is the medium of instruction and therefore is taught or acquired as a second language. And English is another important, powerful language taught throughout schooling from third grade till the university. At the university in Israel, we require a high level of proficiency in both Hebrew and English. So here are my findings. Uh, the first piece of finding is that literacy in first language predicts success in both Hebrew and English, specifically students whose L1 literacy is relatively high perform better in both Hebrew and English. And the second piece of finding concerns the role of the school context. The school plays an important role in immigrant success. And the factors explaining uh, success among immigrants, as far as the school is concerned, relate to teacher training to work with immigrants, the SES level of the school, social support, psychological support, and of course, academic support. And the third piece of finding concerns um, different factors explaining success. So we found that there are certain factors that explain success in both Hebrew and English. For instance, exposure to each one of the languages. Age of arrival, younger age of arrival correlates with higher level of uh, success in both Hebrew and English. However, we found some language specific factors. For instance, um, interrogative motivation correlated with success in Hebrew, whereas higher SES correlated with success in English. From the qualitative data, we found that um, language plays an important role in immigrants learning in the destination countries. Specifically, we found that the hierarchy of the languages involved is very different according to the context and of, according to the age of arrival of the students. An important implication uh, from these findings is a development of uh, language programs that provide these students opportunities to succeed in both Hebrew and English. Students should be given the opportunity to continue and develop their mother tongue at school. Also, it's very important to provide these students uh, with social, psychological uh, support and academic support. And I'd like to conclude with two quotes. One quote is taken from the report of Russian-speaking immigrants saying the following. It's hard to study here at school, but I do my best to cope, and we should remember that. And the other one uh, gives us more hope, and this one is actually by a French-speaking student. It's not easy here, but it's much easier than France, and it's fun here. I'm with my friends, and I'm very happy to be here.